Hello and welcome. I'm really happy that you came here today and took a chance by clicking the link for the prayer closet. Now, today we're going to be praying for strong marriages. This prayer is for women that are married as well as women that want to be married. Because for the single sisters, when it's time for you to get married, you want a strong marriage that is rooted in Christ Jesus. Now, our theme all week has been for my family. And so we're praying for our families all week long. Now, our memory verse, which we have here, and it is on the screen for you, it can be found in Psalm 133, verse 1. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. Amen? Especially a husband and a wife. So, we understand that marriages um, have always been under attack. Because if you can rock the marriages, you can ruin the home. So, I want to pray for your current marriages and your marriages that are on the way. Come into agreement with me. Hit that thumbs up button when I'm done and type amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, we thank you so much for being here for us, for being awesome, holy, mighty, We thank you, Lord Jesus, that your promises are yes and amen. And so, Lord, we want to pray for marriages. We don't want to just pray for any old marriage. We want to pray that our marriages are strong, that in the kingdom of God, we have strong marriages between a man and a woman, that they are strong marriages filled with love, joy, peace, patience, long-suffering, goodness, kindness, meekness, and self-control. Father, we're praying that the marriages, Lord, represented on this channel and the marriages that are on the way, God, Lord, that you would bond them together as husband and wife. We come against any evil, wicked spirits that would try to come in and infiltrate marriages. We come against evil, wicked Jezebel spirits. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We declare right now that our marriages are strong. We declare right now that the spirit of divorce is bound. The spirit of separation is cast out. In the name of Jesus, we bind and rebuke the hand of Satan that has tried to ruin marriages, that has tried to cause pain and heartache. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke the spirit of adultery. We declare that our husbands will only have eyes for us and that if there's any other woman that tries to infiltrate our marriage, Lord, you'll deal with her, Lord Jesus. And so thank you, Lord Jesus. The Bible says in Hebrews that marriages should be held in honor among all. Father, the Bible says in Proverbs 18 that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. And so, Father, we want to be the good thing in our husband lives, Lord Jesus. So we come now. We also want to pray specifically for our children's marriages and grandchildren's marriages. We pray for the women that have adult, young adult children who may be going in the wrong way, dating people who are not Christians. Lord, put a put a stand, a wedge between them, Lord. And help their grandchildren turn the other way and not marry the wrong person. Because the Bible says, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Hallelujah. And so, Father, we pray for that right now. We pray for the marriages, Lord Jesus, of our family members, God. Lord, we don't want to see our children and grandchildren walking into the divorce court. So give them a supernatural clarity, God. For those of us with sons who are young, Lord Jesus, and teenage and little boys and young adults, we pray already for the wives you have for them, that you would send uh, send them to godly, praying, awesome women. And for those of you that have daughters, we pray 
that God will send amazing, awesome, godly husbands to be to them, Lord. We're crying out to you, Father God. We're praying for supernatural, hallelujah, marriages, Lord. Let our marriages be filled with patience and honor and joy and love. Help us in areas to improve as spouses. And Lord, our marriages will glorify you. And you're going to get all the praise, honor, and glory. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, thank you, thank you, thank you for praying in agreement with me. I am, um, I'm so grateful. You know, what the Lord has laid on my heart um, is just to tell you, um, I've been married for more than two decades and uh, my husband is the godliest, um, most authentic and genuine person I've ever met in my life. Um, he is also the most humble person I've ever met. And um, we both have such a heart for Jesus and we're both are crazy when it comes to prayer. He, I mean, we really both are. And we have strong relationships with, with Christ. Now, I'm not telling you all this so you can admire us. I'm telling you this because in our two decades, our marriage has experienced various levels of attack. Well, we've had to come to Jesus. We've had to get help. We've had to fight through things to ensure we stay married. And that's my prayer for you, that you have thriving, fruitful, godly marriages my marriage is not perfect at all. And yours probably isn't either. But the cool thing is, my husband and I serve a perfect God. If you are considering, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit just prompted me to say this. Um, if you are in a uh, dating relationship with a man that is not a born again, spirit filled Christian, the Lord is saying, stop it, cut it off. He sees it and you're going down the wrong path out of loneliness. This is the Holy Spirit is saying this to me so clearly. If you start out your marriage or your daughter or son starts out the relationship with someone who doesn't serve Jesus, but someone who says they do, but you know they don't, um, it is, you are going to, you're sowing seeds um, in the wrong um, garden. And the harvest you're going to reap is calamity and chaos and heartache. Wait on the Lord to send that godly spouse. If my husband and I didn't both love Jesus the way we do, we would have been divorced in year three and we would have been, or and if we made it past year three, we definitely would have been divorced in year seven. So trust Jesus for your spouse and trust Jesus, you married ladies, with your spouse. Anyway, I love you all dearly. I'm grateful for you. And for those of you that are on, mark June 6th down. I have some special stuff we're going to do that week. It'll be called Conquer Week. The week of June 6th will be very special week on this channel. Save that day. You all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Bye-bye.